How you doing? I'm Steve Bakia, drummer for Stygian. Fury rising, a fistful burning, downright living state. And I'm here today to talk about my custom trick drum set. I've been playing drums in only this band for about 11 years now, and I know that's unique, but it's something that I think has gone a long way to make me the drummer that I am. And over the years, my aggressive style has caused me to constantly look for things that will hold up under the intense shows that we play. A few years back, I was approached by Trick Drums, and they said, you know, our drums are made out of metal. And I thought, that's different. So I went and I checked out a kit, and I said, this sounds just as good, if not better, than any other drum kit that I had played or seen before. So uh, we, we struck a deal together, went into business, and this is the result. As I said, they're made of metal. No change, like uh, in heat, you know, or cold. Wood is kind of like a living, living thing, and it could change its um, shape a little bit, which could affect the sound of your drums. But this will not. So I can just throw them down the steps, and there's nothing going to be wrong with them. Um, the only thing which that I'll ever have to change on these are drum heads over time. Metal drums probably best for playing metal. And it sounds stupid, but it's true. Once I knew I wanted the drum set, then it was, well, what kind of drum set? And ever since I was young and started drumming, I always liked the big double kick setup. And uh, Lars had this kind of kit on the Injustice for All type of tours and even before that. And it's the way I've always played, so when I built my custom drum kit, I designed it the same way, of course, with some new advancements like this rack system here. I have a double kick Gibraltar rack. And you know, this is this is a mainstay. This is the only way we're able to get this drum set on and off stage because most of my cymbals and all of my toms here are on the rack. I don't change these setups. We have crew guys, we just pick this up and walk away with it. I think the custom art job goes along with what I'm trying to project, which is a lot of energy, um, quality, and just an overall show. And this was a concept developed by me and Frank, our singer and guitar player. The flaming skulls here with, uh, we always liked the green and, and dark uh, colors. And uh, Stefan Jensen of F3 Studios just put it all together for me. I, I couldn't have pictured it better myself. This is actually the custom snare that Stefan designed. At the time he designed, this is, uh, was our logo. We now have a new logo. But uh, he also was able to throw signature in there. So this is actually the first signature snare that I've ever had. And I'm going to be developing a new one with our new symbol and our new artwork. Is this throw off. This throw off by Trick is like so simple to take your snares on and off. And it's really solid. It stays together. If you need to adjust it, it's just loosen it, turn this, and back in, you're back in action. As we come around here, I have a lot of splashes. Um, my symbol with the company, without a doubt, is Minel. And I came across these symbols a few years ago. Um, being a big Devil Driver fan, I just always thought his symbol sounded different. And I said, let me look into it. And a lot of this is what John from Devil Driver was using. And then I've also done some experimenting. Uh, this is one of my favorite symbols. This is like this uh, double splash. And it makes it almost like a hi-hat sound, but it's, it's, it's quick dying. This is the newest thing I have. This is Evans Hybrid Snare. It's like actually meant for uh, marching bands and it's like a weave and it's just so durable that I just completely fell in love with it recently because every other snare head I was just going through way too fast. The main crashes I use are MB20s. I have an MB20 splash here. This uh, custom distortion splash just sticks out like crazy. Probably the thing that sticks out the most and one of my favorite symbols is this little minor bell. Of course, China to go along with it. And right now I'm trying these Evans um, Black Onyx 2-ply heads. These bass drum heads are the Evans 2-ply EMAD. They hold up and they sound the best. I have my Trick Pro V1 pedals. They are very, very, very solid pedals. I go back and forth between these pedals and my other pedals. I think that's about it for my setup, it's besides these custom sticks that are built for me by a company called Excel. These are regular power sticks 
but uh, I got my logo and stuff on here. But I love these sticks because you get extra grip in the hand, and then you have this little knob up here, which is great for hi hats, great for tingy rides, and other symbols. And they don't break very often, and that's most important. It's a nine piece drum set, it can handle anything. I've been playing it for years. If you see any of my clips, you know that it's an intense, intense beating that these drums will take, but I know they'll hold up.